the next evolution of flow state, which is masterpiece mode. Let's take a look at what that is and how you can use it in your business. So we have our color scale here. And the interesting thing is we've already talked about masterpiece mode a bit. So masterpiece mode is something that happens both to you personally as well as your business can also be in masterpiece mode as well. And masterpiece mode, as we've been talking about, is when the neurons in your heart, the neurons in your head, and the neurons in your stomach are aligned and moving through and you're implementing green and blue energy on the color scale. So masterpiece mode is when you're green or above. And that's the whole goal here is that this is a mode that you're switching into. It's a mode of operating, of thinking, of rhythm, of acting. And the whole goal here is to be in this mode, this way of life, really, in your business, in your leadership, in your relationships, in your everything that you're doing and it's building a new skill it's, it's literally building a new mode for yourself and this is something that you can operate in minute by minute choosing the different tasks seeing when you're out of masterpiece mode when you've gone back into red or yellow and navigating so that you're staying in green or above at all times or at least as much as possible and the funny thing is I had an example of this come up literally with this video uh, I recorded this video. It, it worked out great. I moved on to the next one, but then I realized there was like a tweak that I wanted to do with the verbiage. And my left brain, analytical, move forward brain was like, all right, let's just crank out another one. But I was kind of wasn't fully feeling it. Like I was, uh, I think I was on the verge between yellow and green. Like my heart was still open, um, heart neurons were moving, but it just kind of wasn't like really, it wasn't popping. And so I was like, all right, well, my left brain just wanted to push through it. Let's just get it done. Let's just get on to the next one, more, more, more. But it's like, okay, I know because I've done this, I've been experimenting with this for so long now and getting the results that I know that I'm like, okay, if I'm not in green, let's take a pause. Let's reassess, which, you know, my impatient resistance doesn't like that. It's like, let's just go, go, go. Let me take a pause. Let me see, okay, what it is. So I meditated on the, the verbiage tweak that I wanted to do because my mind was just racing and wasn't getting a clear answer. So I meditated on it, probably took a few minutes. I got the clear answer. It's like, okay. And then I um, was feeling a bit more green, but then it still wasn't quite there. And I'm like, you know what? Obviously, I can't make <laughs> a video about being green or above without knowing that I'm truly green or above when doing that video. So what I ended up doing, literally before this video, I was like, all right, let me take a break. Uh, let me make a phone call to my family that I had been planning on making anyways. And let me, this was the, the nice moment where I could take a break, call them because I was on my mind anyways. And it worked out and it was great timing for them. And this is an example of what we see in the research happening is that it's it's this amazing thing where it ends up being the most optimal path for you and it also syncs up with other people as well. And it ends up just being this, this ongoing thing where it's flowing forward. So that is an example of masterpiece mode, green or above. And the reason why it's masterpiece mode is because that's as we do this more and more, we are on the path of building our masterpiece. And we can't build our masterpiece without even missing one of these purpose, profit, or passion, you know, those things got to come together. Or if we look at it through the neurons, you know, just having two neurons and missing, you know, one of the other sets doesn't work. It's not incorporating our full flow of genius talents. So that's what I did. Um, for me as well, I mean, I'm just telling you exactly what happens. I uh, lay down on the floor, something for me too, like if I'm laying down, like no, uh, just on the hard floor and like there's carpet here, um, but just laying bit down like this just kind of resets my energy. I, I learned it in college just by on accident. Somehow just resets it kind of like my, my back cracks. And so there it was. So it was a reset, a recharge. And then I came back to this video, knew exactly the verbiage I wanted to use because feeling it more and was absolutely more in green. And here I am. So would the video been fine if I hadn't? Yeah, I'm sure it'd been fine, but it wouldn't have been that next level. 
and this is an example of our life, our tasks. You know, if, if if our conversation with that team member would have been a little bit more positive, how would they carry that energy then on to the next eight hours of their work or week of their work? It's compounding effects. So this is really a practice of like, okay, how can I make sure that I'm in the right mode here? Because then everything that I influence is going to carry that energy. And we'll talk about it more, but this is the, really the idea of the sovereign energy. Is that as the king or the queen, there's so much influence around you. So it's all about making sure that you're here in, a good, in the right state, in the right mode. And because then you're propagating out the right energy. And ideally right here, it's green or blue. And that's masterpiece mode. So with this example, I mean, this is how I navigate the block by block of like the afternoon activities, the morning activities. And that's what I invite you to do is uh, look at your activities tomorrow. What do you have planned? Okay. And you can kind of experiment and see, all right, well, if I did these activities first, you can look at your to-do list these activities first in the morning, what does that feel? Does that feel light or does it feel heavy? And you can experiment and you can find which tasks feel the lightest for the morning. And then you can see, okay, what activities feel the lightest at the afternoon? And so this is how I've found to be the most effective to structure my day because then you're in a constant green flowing state uh, mode and if you get out of it then it's it's easier to say okay let's take a pause and test out what needs to be tweaked sometimes it's the environment where you're in sometimes it's the uh, the task some uh, sometimes I mean for me you know it could be the clothes you wear it could all be these different things where you can really test out and see your own way of what gets you in masterpiece mode the most consistently and as we do this for ourselves, day by day, week by week, and we move more and more of the items in our life and business up the color scale, then the business itself goes into masterpiece mode when it's five or above on the color scale because five or above is green. That five threshold, that's when we see the amazing results happen in a person's business because purpose, passion, profit are flowing together. The money's flowing, it's going in the right direction, and the person's passion, their heart is in it, all these things line up. So when a business goes five or above, boom, that's when we see the fireworks go off in a good way. And it just really kicks it to the next level of momentum. So let's take a look here at the difference between flow state and masterpiece mode because the interesting thing is that flow state is a part of masterpiece mode because masterpiece mode is the next evolution. Yet flow state on its own is not masterpiece mode. Let's see why that is. So flow state, is it focused? It's not meaning that it can happen here and there. It's, it's more sporadic. And the, the analogy I use for this is that an artist can be in flow state. They can perform you know, once a week or whatever it is, or on weekends, they can be in flow state during those times, but still not have a career. So masterpiece mode is using the flow state intentionally in organizing your day and being in that mode of operation throughout your day, week, month, quarter, and year. And that's why it's so important for the heart neurons to be leading the way because that's connected to the purpose. So it's moving you forward and it's a mode of operation that's focused and is actually improving forward as opposed to a flow state where it's it can be flowing, it can feel great, it can be, have a lot of passion, it can, you know, purpose but is it really all coming together that's the masterpiece mode is the the alignment and the progress other distinguishing item is is it predictable flow state is not really predictable in its raw state as it is now it's this thing that it's um it's, it's trying to s seek after it and capture it and find these peak state moments where masterpiece mode is very practical simplified, direct, 
and it's a daily practice of operating to the point where you develop unconscious competence and you just naturally make decisions that'll keep you in masterpiece mode and you'll naturally notice when something's off when something's yellow when something's red and then you can make those tweaks so masterpiece mode focuses you in the right direction it gives you progress forward with your forever business and it's predictable because in every moment just like i shared with you in my example it's like oh it's kind of getting out of it i was kind of getting out of it so hmm, okay let me pause let me assess what are my options do those boom 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 back in masterpiece mode so that's how we do it on a individual level and then of course the goal is to Get all the pieces in the business, life and business, greener above, which then puts the business in masterpiece mode. That's what I got for you, and I'll see you in the next video.